Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a critical topic to discuss, the online replacement of a battery cell in an Allen Bradley PLC. As you can see, there's a red battery indicator appearing on the front of the PLC, and if power fails in this condition, your entire PLC program could be wiped out. So, it's crucial to replace the battery when needed. Typically, the service life of this cell ranges from 7 to 10 years. If there's a battery fault, you can see, it will also be indicated on your workstation's communication window, alerting you to take action immediately. Remember, you must replace the battery in the online condition to avoid any program loss. Now, let's get into the step-by-step -step process. First, open the front cover of the PLC carefully. You don't want to put too much force or move the PLC around while doing this. Locate the plug of the battery cell. Carefully remove it, and then take out the old battery cell from the PLC compartment. But before you proceed, it's essential to compare the specifications of the removed battery with the new one. Ensure that the voltage and the plug type match. Once you've confirmed that they match, insert the new battery cell and its plug carefully. As soon as you do this, you'll notice that the battery indicator on the PLC disappears, indicating that your PLC is back to normal. And there you have it, a quick and easy guide on how to replace the battery cell in an Allen Bradley PLC, ensuring the safety of your programs and equipment. Thanks for tuning in, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more informative content.